Hi everyone, I'm Miss Freeman and today we are learning about timbre and some of the different instruments of the orchestra. So put quite simply, timbre is the quality of a sound and different instruments have different timbres which is how we can tell them apart. So the timbre of an instrument makes it sound different for another instrument even if they're playing the same pitch note. That helps us to distinguish the sound of what instrument is playing. Similarly, my voice has a different timbre or sound quality to your voice, and that makes us sound a bit different. So sometimes you can tell who is talking when you're not even in the same room. Let's have a look at a few examples. So if I play the note C, on my chime bar, it sounds a bit like this. But if I was to do that on a flute, the same pitch note, so I'm gonna play that same C, but it's going to sound different. Here it is. Because the timbre of those instruments are both different. I could change it to a clarinet, it would sound a bit like this. but I'm still playing that same pitch note. So if we have a look at the piano, it sounds like this. Again, I'm playing that same C, but the timbre of those instruments are all different and that's what gives them their unique sound. And we can describe the timbre of different instruments in different ways. So some of the words that we could use to describe the timbre of an instrument are bright, dark, brassy, reedy, harsh, thin, buzzy, pure, raspy, shrill, mellow, strained, and I'm sure you can think of many other different words you could use to describe the sound of an instrument. Our orchestral instruments can get grouped into four main families. We've got wind or woodwind, strings, brass, and percussion. Now, all of those instruments in a family might sound a bit similar, but they've still got their own individual timbres. So if we have a look at the strings, here's the violin. that's going to sound different to the sound of the viola, which is also a string instrument playing the exact same tune. Here it is. Now I think that the viola sounded a bit more mellow than the violin. We can look at one of our different instrument families too. Let's have a look at woodwind. So in our woodwind family, one of the common instruments that we hear is the flute. Here's the flute playing the same tune. And it sounds a little bit more shrill, but I wouldn't say that the flute is a shrill instrument, but that timbre again is very different. Staying in the woodwind family, we've also got the oboe. Let's have a listen. got a much more reedy sound than we heard on the flute. And then we've also got the clarinet. Which is also a reed instrument, but sounds very different to the oboe, which we heard last. It's much more mellow. Let's have a look at brass. So in our brass family, we've got the French horn. Just 
got a very different sound quality again. And we've also got the trumpet. Let's have a listen. These instruments are all sounding very different, even though they're playing the same thing. Now, I've not described to, with using many words what I think their timbre sounds like, because that's up to you. It's an individual thing. I might think it sounds mellow, but you might think it sounds bright. You might think it sounds buzzy. Percussion instruments are another family of our orchestra and percussion instruments are usually things that you can hit, like a drum, but also, so the drum and maybe the triangle and the cymbals, they're all things that I can hit with a beater. But our chime bars are also a percussion instrument because we're also hitting them. The difference being that our drum it can't play different pitch notes, or maybe it can play two, but that's it. But our chime bars, they can play lots of different pitch notes. So there's the sound of our chime bars. It sounds quite high, maybe a little bit harsh. You can have a go at listening to lots of different orchestral instruments yourself on the Dallas Symphony Orchestra's website. I'll share the link with you at the end. What you should do is listen to a couple of instruments from each orchestral family and try and think of a few words to describe the timbre of that instrument. Happy listening!